All right. We got some dark foam now. Let us stick that down here and cause some foamy foaminess up in the control room. That doesn't sound good. Awesome. All right, now let's go see what happened. I'm thinking and be able to the door will be open servers down again what else is new yes yeah, so, so he um they like shut down the controls or whatever i'm thinking that i'll be able to get in there and somehow switch up the tubes it's unlikely but let's just go see yep Hey, buddy. Ah, our cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably ours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. <laughs> that was kind of a dumb question. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. We're given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those <laughs> dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. All right, so I can't get in the room. Oh, not again! Oh, oh, he's gonna. Hey! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect. Interesting. So, the packing foam plus the fire extinguisher causes a fire. Well, why don't we just go cause a fire? Good enough for government work. He took a thing out of. Oh no! Oh no, he. Crap. And he unblocked Manny's tube. Er, wheel should open it. The wheel won't turn. There must be something else keeping it shut. So he did something special. I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube. If I could just get in there. Can't he did reach. something special to the tube. He put a card in it. Or he took a card out of it. Oh, I have the marked playing card. If I could that get that in there familiar. to block the tube. But I gotta get back in here. So I'm thinking the fire extinguisher plus the foam makes a fire. A huge explosion. There's the foam. 
Let's see what the fire extinguisher will do. That's not on fire. Right, That's I know not that. On fire. But That's it's gonna not on make fire. it's gonna make it That's on, fire. Not on fire. No oh, thanks. Many. That stuff smells terrible, man. Do I need to get more stupid worms to get my to get all my foam going? Can I use these? Probably not. No. He just he just like wiggles it. All right. <laughs> okay, so I guess I gotta go get more of those little worms and maybe do that plus. No, I don't want to set the room on fire though. Yeah, I don't want to set the room on fire. I just wanna. I just want the door open so I can stuff a that red tube looks familiar. thing in Manny's tube. Let me see what happens if I do the foam again. I'm gonna go back and get more and and see if I can do something else. Well, it's gonna let me do this again. So we're gonna do that cutscene and then. And then I'll do the other one. So I would think, if it didn't need to do this, it would stop it. Stop me. There's that cutscene. And now... Now I want to spray the fire extinguisher down there. I don't think he's gonna let me do that. But I'm gonna give it a shot. That's not on fire. No, oh, man. Alright. So I'm thinking then, then instead maybe servers down again. I go all right. So the servers down again. Maybe if I set a fire on in the other room, it's gonna make him leave the server room, and then I can get in there. So if I light this on fire with the fire extinguisher, that's not on fire. Come on, I. But it will be. If you That's spray it, fire. it will be on fire. That's not on fire. Hey, I give. And if I leave this room, can I stick something on the door? The deadbolt looks like it's not set. There I've we just go. An open door. Strange, now the yet symbolically compelling. Oh, now the door's not gonna shut. All right, I thought I had to be cleverer than that, but uh... All right, so he's st stick a card in there Good enough for government work. Now he's gonna shut the door and walk away and the door's gonna stay open and there we go There we go. All right Now if we head back in there Open the old door Let me just give that Manny's to the old punched card. Now I know what would have happened had I not punched a hole in the card. Um, it would have blocked the tube and they would have had to... Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. Nice. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? I was a company Oh, my car. God. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> oh, my God. Are we going to... Overtake Domino? Yes, we are. And that is a perfect vehicle for a Grim Reaper sort of guy to Buenos be driving. Dias. You're not the nurse? 
No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> okay, okay. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Fair point. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy <laughs> bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh my god. Oh. That's amazing. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. So once, I'm trying to figure out. I was volunteering out at an animal why? shelter. I just stop right there. Why she's not Ever cheated um, on your taxes? I've the never top paid taxes in thing. my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it, either. I guess you'll <laughs> just have to trust me, then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't oh. count. Sorry, I Hello? give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me. But I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. Hmm. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. So, I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? So she's not in the computer, or she's not... Huh. I'm still on the case, Michi, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. So I have to figure out either why she's I'm not... I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Oh, Oh, she's so nice. Domino's door is locked. Hey, oh, hey. Funny bones! In my office! Now! Uh -oh. You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! 